Hey everyone and welcome back. Well today Rockstar released a new vehicle to GTA Online and it is a Mammoth Squaddy. One of the most anticipated and one of the most requested vehicles to GTA Online and finally Rockstar has decided to add this to GTA Online. I mean boy did it take a long time for them to do it. But nonetheless here we have the Mammoth Squaddy with a price tag of 1.13 million dollars. Yeah it is quite high but you know it also comes with a lot of good stuff which we'll be taking a look into in a short while. So going on with the vehicle itself, as you can see here, it looks absolutely humongous next to the tiny Winky. And also the initial first opinions of this thing is that, you know, we all kind of expected a four door variant, but you know, Rockstar was like, nope, this is what we'll be giving you guys. Nonetheless, you know, something is better than nothing, right? So it is kind of good that they actually added, you know, and the overall view of this thing is, yeah, quite okay, but it comes with a lot of customizations. So we'll be checking it out in a short while. And uh, the interiors, well, pretty much basic. You can't expect much from an old military vehicle, right? Pretty much basic everything. So yeah, let's go check out all the customizations this thing offers. And here we are. Talking about the customizations, I'll quickly be going about all of the options that we'll be getting in this thing. I won't be wasting much time going like in depth into each and every single thing. I don't want to waste a lot of time doing those silly stuffs. So I'll be showing you all the interesting stuffs and ultimately I'll be doing the build which you know comes up to my liking. So without wasting any more time, let's get customizing. Going to the first thing that is the primary paints. Well, you know, the good thing is that there's actually the secondary paint options, which, you know, changes the roof as well as the doors for some reason. I don't know why you guys can do some pretty good combinations with those two paint options. But nonetheless, we'll be going with the black, you know, the blacked out roof kind of looks good. So I'll be going with the black roof and for the primary, well, you guys can go with just about any color you like. But uh, for this, I think I'll skip this for now. You know, I'll get the white paint and uh, maybe later change the color to the whichever one that suits the car. So white it is for now and moving on to the customization options for the first one we have the bodywork. This is the roll bars and the frames. The options are pretty much kind of lame if you ask me. These frames and rails they are more like you know military personnel carriers in, in the armies. So not a huge fan of those and uh, the roll bars you know just limited versions so I'll just go with the black ones. Then moving on to the front bumpers, we have quite a good amount of options here, 13 options we have got. And uh, actually the real life Hummer H1 doesn't have these wide bumpers, they are like the small ones. But in this game, they actually look weird and completely open in the front. I mean the low profile one, yeah, this is more like the one in real life. But as you can see behind that bumper, it's completely empty and also completely open. It looks totally weird, not good at all. So yeah, I don't think we'll be getting any of those. Next we have the rear bumpers, you know, we have got quite a good amount of decent ones. So totally up to you, personal preferences here. I'll just go with the one that looks good. Next we have the chassis upgrades. We have the racks in the back, you know, if we get those frames and rails. This is going to be, you know, complementing that particular parts. But for this build, we won't be getting that. I actually want a cleaner look for this. So I'll go with this. Next we have the doors. Yeah, like I said, you can get the primary painted doors as well. So you can have a blacked out roof or any other different colored roof and uh, get the primary painted doors. There's like 16 options just for the doors, you know, so it's completely up to you guys personal preferences. I think I'll be going with the bevel doors kind of thing. This suits the vehicle. So I'll be going with that. Next with the exhaust. Yeah, I mean, the side exhaust, I was not a fan of that. But if you get those rails and frames and all those chassis upgrades and all that would actually suit with the longer side exhaust. But for this, I personally, you know, I'm not a huge fan of this because it doesn't actually suit the build. Like the rear section is completely open and having those exhausts sticking so wide up, I'm not a fan of that. So I'll just go with the side dual exhaust that is under the body. Next, going to the grills. Well, 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 look what we have here. This is the one that is like the real life version. This is almost like the exact similar design to the real life one. We also get like fog lights on there. So pretty good job with that Rockstar. And there's like few other options as well. These are not like the official ones, but they kind of, you know, complement and uh, look good on the truck. The last ones are like, you know, crazy ones. But for this build, we'll be going with this one with those small fog lamps in the front. Yeah, this kind of looks good. 
next we have the hoods we have like good amount of options less like 14 options here but it's all personal preferences but just for this build like i said for the real life version i'll be going with the one that has the center single scoop in there yeah this is more like a real life one but yeah it's totally up to you guys personal preferences then we have the libraries there's like 20 library options and these are all completely recycled old ones guys these are not like anything particular or new for this thing next we have the mirrors we have okay so there's like few options here but yeah the modern mirrors are the ones that resemble the real life version so i'll be going with this one no doubt next we have the roof options we have got like roof racks and uh, there's also light options the good thing is that the lights actually work in this new vehicle so pretty good you can do some crazy off-road builds and all so yeah for this i'll be going with a blacked out one i don't want any other weird looking ones on the top completely black one would do so i'll be going with the first roof rack option next move on with the skirts well there's like 14 options here and I don't want to bore you all with each and every one of them. There's like quite good options here but like I said I don't want to bore you all with these footsteps customizations. So moving on to the final one that is the wheels. With the off-road wheels there's like a good amount of options here. Take a look at this thing. The rugged snowflake looks so good. I mean literally majority of these wheels look good on this Hummer. So this too is like completely personal preference depends on what kind of build you guys want to do i'll just you know completely skip this and uh, go with the one that i like i mean the concave steely and also the police issue steely also look good but yeah i'll just go with the one that i think looks good for this thing and finally for the respray actually the blacked out hummer also look good but i dislike the seats being green in color if that would have been black it would have been so much better I dislike that green seats and with the paint i think i'll be going with the race yellow the hummer and the yellow kind of looks good in my opinion the hummer h2 and the h1 specifically yeah they kind of look good so i'll be going with the yellow for this one and uh, yeah there you have it guys kind of looks good in my opinion let me know what you guys think what kind of a different build you guys would do i mean i might change the wheels later on but for now this is the one we have and there we have it it looks even better out in the sun than it did in the shade inside the inside the building there so yeah like i said the roof lights also work kind of good looking and just so you know i actually also got all of the performance upgrades like the engine transmission and the turbo upgrades i just didn't show it in the video i actually got all of them you can hear the turbo sounds right there and moving on to the off-road aspects of this thing because you know on road it's not going to be the best when compared to other vehicles so going directly to off-roading aspects it is actually pretty good and also has good decent climbing power and all so if you're into off-roading and all those stuff you'll probably be liking this thing well talking about off-roading there's actually another thing that you know i mentioned in the beginning that i want to talk about now i mean the off-roading aspects is really good that thing's you know kept aside the other main thing that you know this truck comes with is that finally the snorkel on this thing actually works you can literally drive this truck underwater you know completely submerged too if i have to say i mean you can just see from the video right there and take a look at this thing this truck doesn't die if you drive it submerged in the water guys i mean there's few vehicles you know that you can submerge just slightly and there's few vehicles that actually die even you know just touching the water but take a look at this thing I actually also stop in the middle of the water and also do a complete burnout underwater as you can see you know it has actually submerged half of the car and take a look at this thing it still drives there's no signs of any struggle or any of that sort it's perfectly normal and I don't know if this is a glitch or this was intentional because we never know Rockstar never really tells anything but seriously man this in my opinion now if i remember it right this is actually the first vehicle to do something like this in gta online there were like many other off-road vehicles but the snorkels didn't actually work in them the moment you took them into water you know they actually died right there but take a look at this i actually stop it in the middle of the water you know for that time duration it actually kills many of the other vehicles in gta online but this thing just keeps going guys why am i impressed with this thing not only it offers good off-roading capabilities has got like tons of customizations 
it also has got a freaking unique feature of going in the water i mean yes you guys can't go like in very shallow waters like the ocean or the alamo sea and all but you know something like these small rivers or streams you can take it without any hesitation i mean take a look here i literally drive it to the deepest point you know completely submerged and it still comes out on the other side without any effects or any damage to the engine isn't that freaking insane i mean boy am i so excited with this specific feature i really wish you know rockstar added this particular thing for all those other off-roaders that would have been a great thing but i guess this is a good start that's all i can say so yeah that is with the mammoth squaddy guys the hummer h1 you can make some pretty good military specs or the street specs just about anything the customizations are just endless with this thing and also this feature it's a good bonus for you all so yeah there you go guys that is the 1.13 million dollars mammoth squaddy let me know what you all think about this thing i pretty much love this thing if you're into off-roading you too are going to be loving this and yeah do drop the video a like and also subscribe if you're new to the channel guys thank you all and have a good day